Hey guys, welcome back to another Talking Mods. Today we are back in the shop and behind me is the brand new Model S Plaid 2022 model. Um, just came out and we got the pleasure of modifying it. So I will go into all the modifications in just a bit. We will also actually be my first drive in the Model Plaid. Um, I actually own a Model S, so I'll give you guys the comparison. We'll go through all of that. Um, and uh, let's run that intro. Okay guys, so we have the Model S Plaid. Now it obviously looks like a different color. It's actually the standard color and a lot of Teslas are doing this now. Um, it's like doing like a clear bra for the vehicle, but it creates this matte finish. Um, obviously this was a black and with the matte finish, it comes out really, really nice. Um, highly recommended for a lot of the Teslas because the paint is so thin and doesn't last over time. Um, so you can either modify the color, keep the existing color with a clear bra, um, and do the entire vehicle. It's a very popular modification that a lot of people are doing, and I do highly recommend it, for, uh, especially if your car has a thin paint um, and so forth. But what we've done here is actually modified the wheels. So on here, we put the new BC Forged EH173s. They are the brushed bronze. I think they look amazing. He upsized it from the 19 inch to the 21 inch. These are the factory sizes. So uh, it's a 265, 35, uh, 21, and the rear is a 295, 30, 21 inch Michelin Pilot PS4S. I've talked a lot about these tires. They're great, um, and they're being used by many, many people uh, as a all around performance, especially here in Southern California, I think it's one of the best tires you can get in Southern California. But as a performance, I think this is the one to get right now. Um, now, let's jump in and go for a drive. Hey guys, so we are now in the Tesla Model S plant. We are sitting in a little bit of traffic, but that's okay because we need to warm up that battery in order to get the maximum performance. If you've ever driven the ludicrous mode, which I have driven the ludicrous mode, ludicrous speed, go! Quite a few times there is that button you press and it warms up the battery. They call it drag strip mode now. My first impression is obviously this is quite different than my vehicle. So the interior has been redesigned. Um, but the, the main thing that comes right off the bat is this yoke stick, but it is very wide. Um, position of holding it is fine. Again, not when I was reversing the vehicle, it's a little bit weird. Overall, uh, the suspension, right as I got into it, I could almost immediately, I have set it to sport and I've driven my car in sport. I generally like to drive my car in comfort because I use it for long distance driving. But um, in the case here on Sport, it definitely feels a lot firmer. This is an air ride suspension, just like my own vehicle. Right now it feels pretty stiff, but the steering feels a little bit loose, um, to be honest with you guys. Meaning that it's not as tight as let's say a BMW or even the Model 3 feels a little bit tighter around the corners. The wheels though feel pretty good, um, just off the bat. Uh, but I will give you guys a better impression once we hit that K. All right. Okay guys, we're not going to do the canyon, uh, we don't have enough time to do the canyon, but I will drive it spiritually and I will launch it. We just got to our peak performance ready. I'm getting more and more used to this yoke stick. I don't know if it needs to be this wide, but the car is definitely wider um, than my own Model S. Um, I think you guys could probably see that from the outside, but even on sitting on the inside, um, it just feels far more spacious. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that was fast. Oh man. And I pressed it, knew it was coming. Oh man. Okay, the new features here on the wheel are awesome. 
but uh, this is pretty cool. The turn signals, you just press the button, you don't have to like flip the switch. I've always uh, wondered why we don't have something like that. It's very nice and intuitive. All right, we're gonna launch this thing. <laughs> oh man. All right, we were at 80 in, uh, in a, it felt like a fraction of a second. I think that's the quickest I've ever had that uh, initial pickup like that. Um, insane. I'm really trying to figure out this yoke. As you can see, I'm not really properly holding it. Um, oh man. It's like that to 60. It's in a split and the handling with it is actually rough because I can feel the G4. I'm like, my body's trying to recover from the G forces. And then you're trying to make, you know, turns. Oh, it's pretty incredible. Uh, probably what a Formula One driver feels like. And as you go into the turn, it just, there's just so much power so much torque just pulling at the car. <sighs> it's kind of exhausting. It's kind of scary to be <laughs> honest as well. Um, oh my God. <laughs> wow. Um, I'm impressed by the brakes by Tesla. Um, this is incredible speed. I think we're at the, at the almost the, the limits of where a car can go. Obviously this is driven some McLarens, I've driven a lot of different vehicles. This is just incredibly uh, fast. The suspension definitely has to be as stiff as this for this kind of performance. So the comfort is still not the same as the older generations of the Tesla. Um, it's softened up a little bit, but it's still nowhere near it. Again, I think this has to come down with the amount of power that the new models have. Is this usable? No, is it a lot of fun? Sure, is it something to scare people with? Yeah, um, do you need it every day for driving? Of course not, but it's that's the whole point of why we love cars is that we just keep on pushing it further and further. And uh, this is this is really, really fun. <laughs> my, my favorite thing will always still be um, handling and suspension. Um, I feel like the power is obviously doesn't balance itself with the suspension um, and the way it handles it. I know it's doing all-wheel drive and pushing towards it. Again, I didn't get enough of Canyon time to give you a full review on that, but just from that little bit of, especially the amount of G-forces and me struggling almost through it, um, it's pretty intense, honestly. So, and it's just like that. It's just, it's just complete violence. Um, I've been in Charger Hellcats and so forth, but this is just, literally your back and everything. It's not just the ribs getting crushed. It's literally, you can feel your spine just get completely uh, thrown into the seat with it. And uh, yeah, you better ha have a strong stomach when driving a Plaid. Anyway, regardless, we modified this car, put on some really cool wheels. The owner is gonna definitely enjoy it. Um, I am gonna be looking at additional suspension upgrades for the Model S because I think it would benefit from it. I'm very impressed by the brakes actually from factory. Uh, car is very cool. Uh, very happy to have been able to drive it and give you guys my impression. And um, I will see you guys on the next Talking Mods.